Hey guys, welcome back to the Neon Arcade. As some of you guys know, Gamescom in Germany is officially underway and CD Projekt Red are again showing their Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay demo behind closed doors. They've tweaked the demo a little bit here and there according to them, but it might be a while until we actually see it if at all. Whilst this is disappointing, let me remind you guys there's still 4 more days left in Gamescom for us to get anything from a trailer to more screenshots or even a CGI trailer. What we did get on day 1 was some new concept art and 4 new in-game screenshots that we're going to go through. Stick around as I pull out some new details and information you might have missed in these pictures that give us some clues about Cyberpunk 2077 as a whole. So the first picture we have is actually not taken from the demo. This is according to various sources that have seen all 50 minutes of the demo at Gamescom. This is essentially a first person perspective of your character being pinned down by presumably a gang or faction in Night City as you stare down the barrel of a pistol. It seems to be taking place in the atrium of a megastructure and again looks very similar to the buildings in the movie Dread. Maybe this gang is native to this megastructure which leads me to believe that even when you're back at home base there's still going to be dangerous people around you at all times. Two of the goons have some really cool cybernetic limbs whilst the third one has a variety of tattoos. The guy on the left seems to have some sort of Kevlar vest on as either a clothing item or piece of cyberware built into himself. Back in the frame by frame series it was mentioned many residents of Night City actually wear bulletproof vests so I'm fairly certain that's what it is. His vest also dons a US flag. The guy in the middle is rocking a trendy sports jacket but also seems to have some sort of augment on his nose. Maybe it's a piece of text to fix his potentially broken nose but it can also be an olfactory cyberware which increases your sense of smell and the range of your senses. It could also be a nasal filter cyberware due to all the potent drugs that can be administered via air or even the thick pollution and acid rain of Night City. The guy on the far right looks like the same Militech bodyguard or ranger that we see in this picture with corporate head Meredith Stout. Militech, a megacorp of Night City, likes other factions to do their dirty work for them which could be why he's with the two others who aren't dressed in Militech or military attire. He has a variety of tattoos with one saying M-O-L-Y and C-M-E-P-T-O. This could be some sort of code or maybe a former gang name before his promotion into the Militech ranks. There is a snake, two skulls and what looks like a man standing behind another pulling his ears or something but it's hard to discern what any of this means. It does however look like they mean business. Hopefully this is a taste of what first person perspective looks like and why CDPR chose FPP to really get a feel for the verticality of the mega buildings. Zooming in on his weapon it reads Militech 50 so we know that this is a pistol straight from Militech itself. The next picture we have is of a Mexican standoff scene at the Maelstrom gang hideout with your partner Jackie. This is a more true to gameplay first person perspective as we can see female V's pistol under the chin of the Maelstrom baddie. On the left we have Jackie dual wielding pistols with one facing Royce on the left and the other towards the guy in the middle of the frame. In the background we can see another Maelstrom member holding a submachine gun of some sort. This is our first taste of what gameplay could actually look like. This could be a first person cutscene or raw first person gameplay and I think it looks pretty fantastic. Royce, pictured on the left of the screen, is the Maelstrom gang leader, but the middle member seems to have taken charge in this situation. He's rocking a hefty leather jacket with some sort of cables running from it. In Frame by Frame episode 13, there was mention that your jacket not only oozes style, but is an integral part of your technological arsenal. Maybe this screenshot emphasizes this point, with the cabling from the jacket powering his arm or grip on the pistol. We also see the logo of the Maelstrom gang, the augmented skull front and center on his t-shirt. The Maelstrom's signature look is to augment their eyes and face which could increase awareness and act like radar to prevent them from getting ambushed. The guy on the far right has a spiky leather jacket as well as spikes from his head which could be functional or just for aesthetics. On our own arm we can see the subdermal grip barely on the backside of female V's hand as well as some sort of implant on her forearm. In the back there seems to be a net running chair where you plug into the net but it's more likely that this chair is used by a ripper dock to install or remove cyberware knowing the maelstrom are obsessed with augmentations. This is further proven by the older screenshot of Royce with people slumped over in the background. It could also be more likely that the maelstrom are harvesting cyberware from other people. 
The next image we have is of Jackie hiding behind a wall as he takes incoming fire from what looks like the Maelstrom hideout. There really isn't too much in this image to go off of other than the fact that there seems to be some destructibility to the environments. Of course, this could be just the design of this specific area, but some demolishable structures would just make the world feel more real. We also see Jackie with the same nose implants that might suggest it blocks out pollutants and drugs, as well as the butt of what looks like a shotgun on his back. The world looks much darker than in the E3 trailer with graffiti on the walls, ripped up couches, and just generally more of a destroyed vibe with poorer lighting. The last screenshot is of Jackie again who seems to be in some sort of apartment post mission. He's getting what looks like acupuncture needles from a woman who looks oddly similar to Pris from the movie Blade Runner. He doesn't seem to be gravely injured and is more of an R&R kind of thing. Maybe this woman is someone who uses holistic healing and medicine in a more traditionalist kind of way. She doesn't seem to have any augmentations or cyberware, which might mean that not all people of Night City are buying into the technological craze of cyberware and augmentations. We do see incense burning in the background as well as two posters above. One is of the club we've seen time and time again, Below Deck, which is a club that was created from an abandoned aquarium, as well as a new club called Riot. This one seems like more of a rave atmosphere, and I'm willing to bet this is a place that's going to be exploding with color, interesting people, and dirty dark techno music. There might even be a lights or augmented reality show to liven up the atmosphere. There also doesn't seem to be closing time with the bottom left reading party non-stop. We also have some concept art from the E3 trailer which really paint a more vivid picture of what they envisioned for Night City so take a look at those. Thanks for watching guys and follow the channel for more Cyberpunk 2077.